to design is to simulate. How can we simulate now and also do what we believe to be good design? So we selected an incredible group of folks who are doing that using the latest tools of arguably design, which is virtual reality, augmented reality, and different kinds of realities. My name is Winslow Turner Porter III, and uh, the piece that we're showing is Tree. VR requires a lot from the user, so we wanted to think about that from the ground up. What is the first thing we do? When they hear about the experience, you know, how can we begin the storytelling from that point? That's really important for us to, to think about where we can begin before they put the headset on. And so in Tree, we give them an actual Amazonian kapok seed. That's the rainforest tree in Peru that they will eventually become. They can plant it however they want. They feel like once they put the headset on, they realize that's them. They were responsible for this transformation. But we're more trying to think of how can we make this sort of a universal human experience when they're inside the headset. Wow. I would do that every day. <laughs> My name is Gabo Aurora, and I'm showing Clouds of Procedure, of which I'm creator and producer. The concept of presence is something one has to design for because I'm sometimes keeping shots that maybe don't have as much to do with the story arc, but they give you a sense of being there. And I think that has a lot of value. And so in that way, I think there's a new element of design that comes into the experience that's very important that wasn't there before. My name is Anshuman Kumar. I'm a design lead uh, at Google, and I work on the Daydream team. What I brought to this event was an app experience where we are trying to kind of bring the power of AR and VR to connect with people and help people connect with each other and to education. I feel VR is also solving a lot of creative problems. If you look at Tilt Rush, it's a completely new medium of self-expression and like, you know, creativity. So it's kind of pushing the boundaries in that direction. My name is Jess Engel, and I'm the director of original content at Within. Anybody who is creating VR is designing. In VR, you have to design an environment and you have to think about not just like what it looks like visually, but how you're gonna to relate to other things within the space as well. It's almost like an architect. My name is Peter Flaherty and the piece I'm showing is the surrogate. I have been thinking about design from a number of different perspectives for a long time and have been called a designer in some context. With the surrogate, for example, the development of the story and the form of how we're integrating the live action video moments with the explorable game engine components that make it sort of this interesting explorable narrative definitely was something that I had to design. It was something that it was a design problem to think about how you could get those two things in the same VR experience in an effective and emotionally meaningful way. My name's Daniel Perlin. I'm an experienced designer, and I'm based out of New York City. Design's always been a very encompassing discipline, so embrace that, I would say, and go for this, because I think it's an incredible opportunity right now with a lot of interest, and there's no right way to do it. You're not gonna find anybody yet who's telling you, oh no, you can't do that. It can work on the plane of feelings, on the plane of immersion, and truly getting people to begin to alter their behaviors based upon those feelings. And some of it just says, I really want you just to have a few minutes to take a pause and really feel stuff that you might know about. To really feel stuff that you're cognizant of, but not actually feeling. And so that's where I think that the power of VR for good can really do its most effective work.